Answer this next forecast of yours because you're saying more money for TV doesn't mean better TV. Less money means better TV. Just have a look at this data and don't take this seriously. TV needs money. In fact, less money has meant better TV. Money spent on TV content has surged from 2018 to in four years from 89 billion to 142 billion, but the content has not done well. Just look at his uh, data on content. Look at that. This is ratings of content and shows. It's just a downward slide and more money being spent and is going downward. So less money means could mean better and that's what's happening. Um, I think that's what could happen. But the basic point is this, that this has been the golden age of television, as you know, especially for streaming, that right. we saw a surge in the number of new streaming services. We saw so much uh, cheap money available to fund uh, new projects, new series. So global content spend on television surged over the last few years. But my point is that uh, quality went down, that, you, that, you, that so many shows were commissioned which were well, possibly poorly conceived with yeah, a yeah. script or the concept was it properly done. But right. just in a hurry to get new subscribers, new users, we got so much of content out there. So the quality went down, the focus was on quantity. And now what's happened is that as you get much tighter money in general, as we have argued, because right. of higher interest rates, they will sort of and raise also, their bar. And also the yeah. tech sector has gone bust in which, you know, which is the funder for right. a lot of this stuff. Yeah. I think what happens now is that the focus on quality goes up because a lot f uh, uh, less number of series get commissioned, a lot number of shows get commissioned. And I think that this has, uh, as always, implications for India, which we're already seeing. Uh, yes. That in yes. India, if you look at it, what happened is that because uh, all these major streaming services, the Netflix, Amazons, and right. Disney, they had so much money uh, to spend, yes. they spent uh, on buying all sorts of movies and all sorts of series. And a lot of that was junk, was drivel uh, in, uh, in yeah. terms of that. But they sustained that by doing that. Now they're cutting back dramatically. Even in India and in the world. Yeah, like I'm in told fact, that some of the yeah. leading services in India, right. if they were buying, let's say in a year, 30 or you know, 25 to 30 movies directly to go to digital, they, in, in 2023, that number is going to likely to be in single digits, maybe six or seven they will do. So uh, From 25 to six or seven. Yeah. Wow. yeah uh, I, as just That's an example, yeah, yeah, in terms of that. So that means the pressure on budgets, the stars, how much they can charge in fact, is going to go down a lot. In fact, your graphic shows that's a global phenomenon as well because they made massive losses. And after those losses, there have been major cutback on series being commissioned. Just look at the losses that were made uh, by these streaming companies. Five billion dollar losses. What the reaction was, a cutback on the number of new shows from 200 to 150 between the 2021 and 2022 and you see that trend continuing. Yeah, that's uh, for the US we have this data yes. that we will see the same effect out here and I think that it may be for the better that you could focus on quality because today, you know, when we were having these uh, year-end dinners and you go around the table and you ask people what were your favorite series of yeah, the year, yeah. you know, people would struggle to come up with names. There's right. so much content out there yeah. but when you try and come up with what were your favorite what series, what were your favorite movies, yeah. very few roll off your tongue. Uh, yes. So I think that it's because there's so much content but so much of it was just not that well conceived that now we're likely to have much stricter budgets and possibly better quality going forward.